Greetings everybody, John here with Wiki Game Guides with the first video of my S rank perfect stealth no kills walkthrough for Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Uh, so because so this first mission is pretty simple so I'll be going over some basic tips and just talking about some basic strategies for how to get S rank on every mission in this game so far so first off I would not recommend following this walkthrough for your first time through a mission it'll tell you where to go but you know some of these strategies will be much easier to do when you have some of the higher level stuff unlocked in the game and especially I think it's even in just the next mission I'm gonna be using uh, D Dog, which is a buddy that you don't unlock until quite a bit later in the game uh, or quite a bit after the second mission but anyway so first off go into the settings when you're going for S ranking and turn off reflex mode um, you get a bonus point uh, you, you get bonus points at the end of the mission for uh, never using reflex mode and it's just one of those things that like as soon as reflex mode, mode would have kicked in you're gonna want to revert to checkpoint which brings me to my next point which is that you can retry and let's say you get to a tough part of the mission and you keep reloading from checkpoint over and over again that does not eliminate you from getting the S rank uh, you like just hit pause and revert to last checkpoint now the 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 best way to get the S rank in this game on any mission is by going fast. So if you end, and like, I'm pretty sure it's a cumulative time since when you started the mission. So if you keep replaying one section over and over again, your overall time is going to be very high and you won't get a good time bonus score at the end of it. Um, but you can revert from checkpoint and, uh, you know, it's, it's just not the end of the world to restart from the checkpoint. So just use it to your advantage as much as you can. And also, the game retains marks on enemies um, that you made before restarting from the last checkpoint. So it's actually easier the second time around. Uh, so perfect stealth basically means nobody directly sees you. So this guy right here, I'm going to knock out. And in a minute, I'm going to shoot him in the face with the Trank pistol with the silencer on. And in the next mission, uh, like I even use some C4. I think it's the next mission. And, um, like, you know, cause a huge disturbance. So if they find a, uh, a knocked out body and they go on high alert, that does not mean that you will not get the perfect stealth. That just means that they're alert and ready. Um, so perfect stealth isn't as difficult to get as you may think. You just have to be very careful. And later on in the game, it obviously gets more tough with uh, you know m more enemies and surveillance cameras and stuff like that. Um, bonus objectives in this uh, in you know on any of these missions, they're nice. And later on, they may be required. I don't really know yet to getting 100% um, or not not 100% for getting the S rank, but by no means are they required. I will be making separate videos for how to get all the bonus objectives because I think there are some unlockables for doing all the side quests and all the missions, but you do not need to do them on your S rank playthrough to get them. You can do it a second time and just kind of take your time and just shoot everybody in the face to find all the hidden stuff and rescue some of the other people that may be difficult to rescue while maintaining that S ranking. So anyway, I'll be doing separate videos for that. Um, on this first mission, you can't choose a different buddy, but on subsequent missions, you I, I think I'm gonna be using D-Dog for almost every single mission. Um, so on, on this mission, obviously you saw, well, you, you may have realized that I skipped the first kind of side objective, which says like, go to this other town and find some intel on where this guy that I'm carrying on my back is being held. And you can skip that completely. Um, it's not necessary and it just adds more time. So skip the side objectives when you can. And it, that, that's just one of those things that comes with playing through the game a second time and really going for the S rank. And why I said before, you don't really want to go for the S rank on your first time through. It's just too hard. And a lot of times, you just don't know where the objective are and you don't know like the perfect loadout. Um, I'm gonna include my drop point and the time of day that I choose to land. On, on this mission, you can't choose when you land. And, um, and my loadout at the beginning of every video so you can pause and take a look at the equipment I use, but I'm gonna be using very basic equipment for the most part in all these missions. Um, so I'm doing something kind of tricky here that you actually don't need to do, but I wanted to try and see if it could be done. Uh, so mark these skulls with the, um, with the binoculars. And uh, 
I'm gonna put these two to sleep and extract them. This is completely optional. This isn't even a side quest, a bonus objective. I just wanted to see if I could do it. Um, the One of the side quests is to get past these guys without alerting them, which you need to do if you wanna get the perfect stealth, uh, no kills thing, because you can't get perfect stealth without getting past these guys. So. Um, regardless if you have the decoy unlocked or not at this point, the decoys are super freaking helpful in this game. Uh, I will be using them a lot. The, the magazines that you can throw to get their attention, they're very helpful too, but not as helpful as the decoys. And so early on you can use the decoys. What you want to do is these two guys on the bridge, you want to lure them to the right of the bridge and then just walk right past them. But what I'm going to do now um, is just, you just want to get them a little bit close. They have, they're very short-sighted. I'm going to hit them with a couple sleep grenades. Um, oh, that was a magazine that I threw on accident there. Uh, I'm going to hit them with all four of my sleep grenades, put these two to sleep, and extract them. And then as soon as you get past these two guys, the ones down in the cavern will actually not see you. Uh, so you don't have to worry about it. And it takes, uh, I think, two or three solid grenade, sleep grenade hits to put one of these... Oh, yeah, about two solid sleep grenades hits to put one of them to sleep. Uh, so I'm just pelting them with all my sleep grenades right now and then I'm going to Fulton them away. Now I'm not sure, oh, so also at this point I have uh, not the highest level Fulton, but I do have a very high level Fulton, so where I can extract vehicles and emplaced guns and stuff like that. But again, that's not necessary and I will be using that just to kind of help level up my base, uh, my, my mother base. And, um, but uh, you know, that, that's just one of those bonus things that you get later on in the game that you may not necessarily, or that, that you absolutely do not need right now. Um, and on a final note, this game is fucking awesome. I, I can't believe, like, this, when this game was getting like a 10 out of 10 for my GM before it came out, I was like, holy fuck, I, that's kind of unheard of. I can't believe that this game is getting such good reviews. Not that, like, I mean, I've played every Metal Gear Solid game, and then a bunch of the other ones, like, on the NES, like the Metal Gear games, and I fucking love them all, but... There were certainly never 10 out of 10s, but, uh, so anyway, as soon as you get on D-Horse, just make your way to the helicopter extraction point, and then I got my first S rank of the game, and as you can see, I didn't get a bonus for no retries, but I still managed to get the S rank, and as you can see, a large majority of the points came from doing the mission very quickly there. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more S rank walkthrough updates. I'll be posting them all as soon as I can. I'm really hauling ass. I got a bunch recorded already.